Hi, how are you? I'm Nancy from Black Sheep Knitting here in Needham, Massachusetts. I'm sitting in the shop on a gorgeous, gorgeous sunny day, although it's a tiny bit windy at the, mo at the moment. You may hear the wind here. You may also hear uh, Robin's dog is in the background. He's chewing on a bone that has peanut butter or something inside, so every now and then he squeals. It's very sweet. I wanted to show you a kit that we're going to um, put online. It's a beautiful summer shawl kit, and the shawl is called Solstice Swells. And I'll show you another picture of it. It's very sweet. And a really um, just looks like a fun, fun, happy knit. Here's a close up of it. And it has in it German short rows. Now, some of you are going to head for the hills when you hear me say that. However, this pattern will um, show you how to make German short rows. They're super, super easy, and if you follow the instructions, you'll be able to do it. The reason you use German short rows is, in this case, is going across to a certain point and coming back and going back and back. And what you're doing in this particular pattern, you're making what, these, what they're calling these swells. And if you look closely, you might be able to see them. So it's making those little additional spaces. Uh, they're kind of almost oval-like. So you're going back and forth and back and forth without going all the way across the row. And um, this is a fun way, fun pattern to do. And it's fun to watch the colors come up as you do it. I'm going to show you. Um, so I recommend it highly. You need about 460 or 90 yards um, of fingering weight yarn. And before everybody again says, I'm not doing that, I hate fingering weight yarn because I have to have a small needle. Well, in fact, you don't. Um, I generally, I do a lot of shawls on fingering weight yarn, and I generally use a six. I'm kind of a tight knitter, so you might do a five, but I would even try a six. And the if you use a size six needle, you're going to get a much lacier, lightweight, summer weight shawl, something that you'll want to use for the summer. So we picked out some yarns. Um, these are actually um, yarns that I dyed. They're gradient dyed yarns, and we'll have some more in the shop in a few weeks. Um, so these are 463 yards, which is what the pattern calls for. Um, and so they are one long gradient, which would be fun for this. And you could even, in the middle, this one I'll show you, um, somewhere you could add, if you've got a um, mini skein lying around that happens to match, or some leftover sock yarn. This one's got a, some blues in the center, and it goes to pink to gray to sort of mauve and then to kind of a coral color. Here's another one, very springy, summery colors, very happy colors. Here's one if you're a pink person. This is a beautiful sort of pinks and whites, shades of pink. And here's another very summery color. Um, I can show it better from the other side with a gorgeous hot pink in it. So those are that's an idea. These are called Bashful Cupcakes. And we also have, which I thought would be fabulous for this, we have the Fino mini skeins from Manos del Yorque. And you, these you can put in any order that you want, or you can split them up and put them in different um, order. And this one is called Sybil. And I have, and Cody, Robin's dog, is sniffing around. Um, he isn't, is unable to see, and so he spends a lot of time sniffing. Uh, this one's called Beatrix, if you like sort of gray, purpley tones. And we have others of these in the shop, but I think we're going to kit these up. And this one's called Ophelia. So you could order these online, and these kits will be available this week with the pattern. 
Um, so that's a great summer idea, something you can take along with you to the beach. I often take my um, my small projects, and a shawl is kind of a small project, in a plastic baggie. I park myself under an umbrella in a chair, and I sit and I knit. Of course, I'm careful not to get any of my knitting on my sunscreened legs, um, so I often put maybe a, a towel or something. But, Or if you're sitting on your back deck, um, this is a great project for that. So I have one other project that I thought would be a really fun summer knit. I made this actually a while ago, and it's called Summer Flies. It's a beautiful summer shawl, and it's a very, very easy lace weight pattern. This I did in a cotton, and it's, um, we have some very nice cottons in the shop um, that are lovely to knit with. One of them I'm not showing you right now is called Sammy, but you've seen that before. Um, which is a beautiful cotton yarn to knit with. Um, I have a cotton here um, called Denim DK, this gorgeous pink, and I also have it in a white. If you like a white shawl in the summer, I think is great um, because it goes with everything and it's just fun to wear in the summer, I think. And another, oh, here are some of the Sammy colors Robin just got for me. And if you haven't knit with this yarn, boy, do I recommend it. It is super, super soft. I'm making a sweater in it right now, and I just love it. Um, so here are some colors. We also have some hot pink and orange um, also for um, this, which Robin's going to go grab right now. Um, <laughs> some other colors. Um, that I should have gotten out to begin with. Here are some other suggestions. I just love this one. I think this is for summer. is just yummy. And this is a great, you know, it's a great pattern to just throw this over your shoulders, you know, at a cocktail party or, you know, if you're taking a stroll on the beach or going to a wedding. It's a beautiful thing. So I have some other options for that. This is the Lena from Sandus Garn. And this is a combination of um, linen and, oh, I'm going to say this wrong, and cotton. And is there some viscose in it? There is. Um, so these are some colors that I like. And this has a wonderful drape to it, so it's a great yarn for a shawl. Um, I was eyeing this one because I love this neutral um, wheat color, oatmeal wheat color. And then some others, and you might think this is a little weird for summer, but this is a, a wool and alpaca. But there's something about this yarn. This is called Dos Tierros from Malabrigo. But there's something about the feel of this that feels a little bit like cotton. And I think you can wear it pretty easily, particularly in a shawl like this with all the open weave in it, the um, eyelets. I think this would be great. So we just love this yarn. Um, and I, true confessions, I ordered this by mistake on their, um, Malabrigo has a website and that's how, for wholesale, and that's how we order it. And I clicked the wrong thing, which Fiola can tell you I once ordered, well not once, more than once, I've ordered 50 needles in one size, <laughs> meaning but I meant to order five, and somehow the zero got in. And luckily, our supplier does take them back and give us credit. But we didn't need 60 or 50 needles in one size. Anyway, this is how we happened on this yarn, because I made a mistake. But it was a very happy mistake, because we really love this yarn. And so here are some fun summer colors. You could actually even do this this uh, shawl in two colors if you wanted. But anyway, those are some suggestions for summer knits. I um, want to thank everybody for coming in. And if you haven't, um, if you haven't shopped us online, we um, have a lot of stuff online. So you can happily shop from, from home in your pajamas at 11 o'clock at night or however late you stay up doing naughty things like ordering yarn. Um, 
anyway, we've got workshops coming up, more kits that are coming up. Um, I hope to do some more felting workshops, so those of you who haven't, haven't had a chance to do wet felting, um, people have loved what they've produced. You come home with a uh, piece that's just about done. You just have to do one more thing to it when you get home. Um, so we'll announce those in the next week or two. And I hope you have a wonderful week of knitting. Get out, enjoy this weather. If you're, you know, a lot of people have said to me they're still feeling a little bit blue and upset about this nasty COVID thing that's still around. I'll tell you, if you get outside, just, you know, go sit in your garden, go take a walk, be in the sunshine. It just does wonders for you. So do that and enjoy it. Um, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.